What's up everyone? So today I'm going to be doing my body care, skincare, and hair routine right out the shower. This is what I do to get ready in the morning time. If you enjoy this video, for sure, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on social media, which should be somewhere up here. You know the deal with that. And we're going to get right into it. Today I want to be smelling like vanilla, so that is the routine that I'm going to use. Now, every day really switches up for me. As you guys know, I wear a different lotion and a different body mist every day of my life, but today I just want to vibe with the simple classic warm vanilla sugar. I'm sure a lot of you have this, so that is why I wanted to include it. Plus, I haven't worn um, warm vanilla sugar in a little while. So what I first like to do is take a little bit. And I work it into my arms first and I kind of just do this like rubbing motions like this so I could get everywhere really um, saturated with the lotion you could literally see the color of my skin coming through and that's how you know a girl is being moisturized I don't apply too much moisturizer right here only because I have broken out in little bumps before. I just think, you know, because your skin gets irritated if you apply too much. So I just like to keep it simple. So now I take my body mist and I like to apply this on my pressure points. So I take this on my wrists and I also take it on my inner part of my forearms. And we don't go like this because once we go like this, we're messing with the fragrance. So it will not last as long. So I pull back my hair. I do a spray. And another spray. Then I will apply it right here at my thumb. And just go behind my ears. Now not every day do I wear a perfume. And not every day do I wear a fragrance mist. Sometimes I'll wear both. And sometimes I will wear one or the other. Usually I always wear at least something. But today we're going to be going into Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. This stuff is amazing. It's from Philosophy. I like to spray this in the exact same areas as I did before. I absolutely love this stuff. I don't know why it's not talked about more because it's amazing. Seriously amazing. It's cashmere, but it's more of a fresh cashmere, not too warm. Now we're going to be going into what I use for deodorant. Now, I'm a full-blown Dove fanatic now with deodorant. Honestly, F my other deodorants because I love Dove so much. I've gotten my staples. Usually, I like to go in with the cucumber one, but sadly, I'm out of that. I have to pick it up. This one is the Dove Advanced Care Clear Minerals. This one's just really light and fresh. If you like a very light-scented um, deodorant, then go with this one. If you like a little bit more of a strong-scented, I would go with the cucumber one or the lavender one. Now, I've also been using this. This is the Dove Nourishing Secrets Restoring Ritual Coconut and Jasmine Flower Scented. This stuff is so good. Today, I'm going to go in with this just because I do want to smell really sweet today. Like a vanilla, the coconut, I feel like will complement it really well. So, I'll be going in with that. Now I'm going to go in with some lip balm. This is the Blistex DCT Lip Protecting Sunscreen as well, um, SPF 20. I love that it has SPF because it's really important. Now, I love Blistex, but it doesn't really taste that good and it does not smell that good. So whenever I'm with my boyfriend, I tend to not want to wear this. I tend to want to wear like a simple Nivea one, but this is extremely moisturizing. So if you need something moisturizing, wear this one for sure. So the first thing I do for my skincare in the morning time is either apply just my Cetaphil moisturizer or if it's more of an oily day for my skin or I know I'm going to be wearing makeup and I need it to last for a really long time, then I will use the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream. Oh my god, that is a mouthful. So I'm just going to go right in with like a half pump of this. It is very, very um, moisturizing and a little bit really does go such a long way. Now what I like to do is kind of just pull the skin back. This is just bringing blood flow into my skin. So any sort of puffiness, it really does deflate. That tends to be my problem is just puffiness. The next thing I like to do is always moisturize underneath my eyes. I know that concealer tends to just go on so much better when it's really moisturized there. Also, it's really good to just prevent wrinkles like Oils, you guys, are so good. This is the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Pressed Rose Hip Seed Oil. Now, at nighttime, I do like to put this all over my skin, but during the day, it can tend to be a little bit oily for just using it everywhere. 
I also not only like to apply it underneath my eyes, but I do like to apply it right on the apples of my cheeks. It just gives that glow. I wouldn't apply the oil on my eyelids if I'm wearing makeup, but today I'm just having a movie night with my friends. I love rosehip oil, absolutely adore it. I've been using this for years and it just really hydrates my skin like nothing else and keeps it beautifully soft. I just love it. I like to take a little bit of my oil on my palm, a little bit of my moisturizer, and we're just going to work this into my neck. Now, our neck really shows aging. It's one of the first things to really show it. Now, we're going to be going into my hair care routine. This is right off the shower, what I like to do. Now, I have been letting it air dry. Sometimes, of course, I will blow it out. But lately, I've been having it air dry. I just think it's healthier for my hair in general. So, yeah. Now, I love a wet brush. I don't brush my hair with anything else. I just won't do it. This one is the square one, so it's bigger, which I like because it's a lot faster in the morning. I just like to brush it from the bottom up because if you're just brushing it straight down right out the shower, it's going to be naughty and you're going to have so much breakage, it's not even going to be funny, so be careful, of course. Now, I used to use It's a Ted in my hair, but I don't know, I stopped liking that. I don't know why, just it started making my hair feel heavy, so I have not used that in a while. I'm going to put the name of this stuff somewhere up here just because I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce everything. But this is a leave-in conditioner. Oh, I just squirt it everywhere. I love this stuff. I've had it for a while. You don't need to use a lot of it. And I just apply this on my ends and halfway down my hair. What I like to do now is I take a little bit between my hands and I like to put it in my front like little curtain bangs just because I like them nice and smooth and any breakage that I have going on over here from my extensions which I'm so happy I have out of my hair because those were so damaging. I'm sorry, so damaging. Okay. Now what I like to do is go in with an oil. I have been using this for years. This is the Silk Infusion. I just love this stuff, you guys. I love it. I do like other oils, but this is what I've been using as of lately. So, again, you want to get it between your hands and you want to work it in. Just because you don't want to, like, start touching your hair and having a huge, like, glob in your hair. So, this really helps my hair not be frizzy. But what I'm going to do now is put on my clothes and show you guys how I spray my perfume and how I spray my body spray. So I will be right back. The camera makes me look 10 times more pale than I literally am, but a girl needs to self-tan regardless. But what I'm going to do now that I have my clothes on, I'm taking warm vanilla sugar and I just go in. In. Now your clothes will keep fragrance a lot longer than your skin, so keep that in mind. So I usually would do about three up here of my actual perfume and again here and here and also here and here on my um, clothes. Anyways, that is everything that I have to show you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, for sure, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on social media. You all mean so very much to me. I appreciate all you guys so very much. And have an amazing day. God bless you guys, and I will see you in my next one.